So in this short video, I will be explaining and demonstrating how the 32 foot quint effect works. So that means not using 16 feet, sorry, not using 32 foot, just using 16 foot. So none, none of this. So yeah, we're not using any of that. We're only using 16 foot to fake the 32. So um, I think I'll put open wood and a borden on the pedal. Yeah. And we want something on the manuals to, you know, the fifth above. That's how it works, because quint is five. So that means everything's a fifth above. So if you don't have a 32 foot, what you'll need to do is play play a note, probably, you know, the lowest 12 notes from like down from low B down to low C and play the fifth above on the manuals, probably, because you can't play it on the pedals because it gets a bit too thick. The reason is... When you're having a quint like this, the fifth note has to be a little little bit less in volume and power than, you know, the, the tonic, the bottom note. So what that means then is I'll couple great and swell to pedal, we'll put Lieblick Borden on the swell, a double diapason on the great and couple swell to great. So we've got something lighter on the manuals compared to the pedal. So I'm going to start by playing this A, should we say, and I'll put, put the E above. No, so I gotta say some notes are better than others. Should we try uh should we try low D? There we go. Yeah, that's pretty good actually. And then low C obviously with the G. That's one of my best notes actually. I've gotta say the E flat now with B flat probably be good. No, it's not because we've got the open wood on the pedals and open wood on E flat is quite something. But actually you'll be surprised to know that the B with the F sharp It's actually It's actually quite quite effective. So there you go, that's the quint effect without using a uh, thirty-two foot flu. It sometimes works with reeds, but not not as much.